Welcome to the Flash Array Architecture Series. I'm Sandeep. And I'm Chad. In the cloud era, your infrastructure really needs to operate like a service. A service that's always on, it's automated, and it continues to get better like SaaS, like cloud, so you can take advantage of all of the technological advances so your infrastructure just continues to get better and better over time. Flash Array has been engineered with purpose-built hardware and software to deliver this service-like evergreen experience. And in this video, we're gonna dive into the Flash Array hardware architecture and talk about how it delivers this evergreen experience. So let's start off with the chassis. The Flash Array is a 3U chassis. It has up to four NVRAM devices and then 20 flash modules inside the chassis. We pre-plumbed the chassis with NVMe capabilities from the beginning because we knew that this would be the next generation flash coming up. Uh, so all of our NVRAM devices are dual ported and connected to each one of the controllers and full NVMe capable. Our modules in front come in two different types. We have our flash modules, which are SAS based. And then we have our direct flash modules, which are NVMe based for our Flash Array X. And these direct flash modules take the NVMe connected raw flash and they work in concert with the direct flash software inside the Purity operating environment that manages all of this flash globally with direct software to raw flash communication. And that really helps to unlock increase and more consistent levels of performance, as well as continual density gains. What that means is with the 18.3 terabyte direct flash module, you can get all the way up to a petabyte effective in just 3U inside Flash Array X. And Flash Array X is mainstream off NVMe array. Imagine you've got a tier one all NVMe petabyte scale array in just 3U. How cool is that? Very cool. And if you need additional expansion, we have our expansion shelves that have 24 flash drives in each shelf. And this is for our SaaS based solution. And then with our direct flash shelf, we have 28 direct flash modules in each shelf. This expansion shelf is connected to our controllers uh, via a 50 gigabit ethernet connection, leveraging Rocky version two, which is RDMA over converged ethernet. Indeed, so there you have the Flash Array X that preserves the NVMe benefits all the way into the uh, expansion shelf as well. On the back end uh, of the chassis are dual controllers that are HA uh, controllers as well as uh, two power supplies. The controllers are completely active-active on the front end. And on the back end, we reserve the performance of one of the controllers so that customers get full levels of per, uh, performance even through maintenance and upgrade scenarios. That means they can do maintenance operations or upgrade operations completely during business hours. Uh, they can t get rid of downtime and as well as get rid of maintenance windows. And they can scale from the smallest array, which is our Flash Array M10, all the way up to, let's say, the M20. If you want to go beyond that, we can go up to the M50, scale even further, all the way up to the biggest Flash Array M, the M70. Uh, and then if you want to go full NVMe capabilities, we can go up to the Flash Array X70. And the way they're able to do that is because our controllers are completely stateless uh, on the back end. So you can swap out in a very modular fashion without downtime or performance impact whatsoever. And what that's meant for our customers is even from the earliest uh, customers, uh, starting from our Flash Array 400 or even the Flash Array 300 series, there's been no customer left behind. They've been able to continually non upgrade all the way up to the latest and greatest. Uh, that's pretty awesome. And what's great here is you don't have to decide whether you want to go SaaS or NVMe. We've provided an NVMe guarantee so that if you want to start off with the Flash Array M, that's great. You can upgrade Flex up to an X70 and get full NVMe capabilities within the array. But if you're on an evergreen storage model, you'll also just fall into that type of native capabilities uh, with your next generation Flash Array upgrade. 
Indeed, and the beautiful thing is that it's all completely non-destructively uh, non uh, done. So there you have it, folks, a quick overview of the Flash Array hardware architecture and how it helps to deliver this uh, evergreen experience to our customers. Thank you so much for listening. Please stay tuned for our next videos in our architecture series.